In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite third-party libraries when it comes to showing dialogues on Android. And that library is called Material Dialogues by Aiden Folostad. So if you're an Android developer or you've been around Android development for any amount of time, you know that there's some very kind of common use cases when it comes to showing dialogues. And we use these ones over and over and over again. You know, one of the use cases here is uh, asking a user for permission to do something. So like say they want to delete something or maybe publish something new to the server, you generally want to ask them, hey, are you sure you want to do that before you actually execute that transaction? So dialogue that looks something like this, you know, it says, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do that? This can't be undone. And then, you know, if they click yes, you execute that action. If they click cancel, obviously they do nothing. So let's see what, it, what happens when I click yes here. If I click yes, it says you successfully did that thing. So that's kind of simulating what it would be like to actually uh, ask the user for permission and then do something if they accept that that uh, that request. Other common use cases are things like showing success and showing failure. So, you know, suppose they did some kind of big transaction, maybe it took a certain amount of time, they had a service running or something like that. When that transaction is done, maybe they want to see a success dialogue, you know, something that looks like this, you know, success, you successfully did that thing, whatever that thing is. And likewise for showing an error. So if they click, you know, some something that uh, they're trying to do something, it fails, it fails after maybe a long period of time, you might want to show a dialogue that says error, you know, something went wrong, and then whatever other information, maybe an error message or something like that, that's tailored more specific to that error. So those kind of use cases are uh, used over and over and over again in, in Android applications. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of my favorite third party libraries, the material dialogues library, it's made by uh, Aiden Fullested. And we're going to you know, build these very simple use cases out so that you can add them to your projects and show these dialogues very easily. So here I have a brand new project open. Uh, it's not actually new, but it's basically new. If you want to create a project that looks exactly like mine, you just go to you know new project and create an empty activity. And uh, you want to use Android X and also use Kotlin. This is going to be a Kotlin video. So once you have that that open, you're going to have just a single activity, uh, a main activity, and then a layout that's associated with with that activity layout. So before we get started with the material dialogue stuff, I just kind of want to do some housekeeping first of all to uh, prepare the example. So first of all, I want to copy paste in the layout because right now we just kind of have an empty kind of layout here. So I'm going to bring uh, up, up the source code for this video. It should be right here. There'll be a link in the description of this video, by the way, if you're if you're looking for this. Uh, just I want to go to the, the, this is actually the wrong repository. Oh no, this is the right repository. So there'll be a link down below. You just want to go into layout, go to main activity and just copy this entire layout. There's just a bunch of buttons in here. You know, there's nothing fancy. So if I paste that in, I have kind of five buttons here with different labeling. We're going to be using those to trigger the different events for the different dialogues and stuff that we're going to be working with. Next, I want you to add some strings to the strings.xml file. So we have text error, text success, text okay, cancel, are you sure, and yes. So again, all of those can be found, I'm just going to bring up the source code again, uh, inside of the source code for this, this uh, project, you can just go to res, go to values and go down to strings, and you can copy those all into your project and you'll have exactly what I'm working with. Next, now we're going to get the dependencies for the material dialog dialogues library. So if you are wondering what this material dialogues library is all about, you can just type material dialogues at GitHub and search all of GitHub for that. And this is the repository right here by A. Followstead. His name's Aiden, Aiden Followstead. I actually interviewed him, by the way, on my podcast. So if you go to youtube.com slash C slash coding with Mitch, you can go to my YouTube channel and you can find the interview where I interviewed him. He's a very talented and very young developer. He works at Square, the company, uh, the payment accepting company Square. So I think it's uh, squareup.com is their website, I believe. Yeah, that's the one. So he works for them as a, as a full stack Android developer. And I interviewed him. If you're looking for the interview, you can just search my YouTube channel for Aiden. Uh, looks like I spelt it wrong. A Dan probably. And there it is right there. Full stack Android developer at Square Aiden Follestead. So check out that interview if you want to know kind of more about him, more about his job, uh, or if you're just interested in listening to the podcast. So he made this this library, as I was saying, this third party library named Material Dialogues. And this is uh, this is a pretty popular library. You know, it's got 16.8 thousand stars on GitHub. A lot of developers are using this. And he recently just updated it. He converted it to be a Kotlin first library. So he 
continues. Basically, what I'm trying to say is he continues to upgrade this and he continues to maintain it. And it's a really, really great library. It's one of my favorite third party libraries. It makes dialogues, working with dialogues, very simple. So this video is going to be kind of a very simple use case. Again, I'm focusing on simplicity here. I'll just kind of show you the demo again, just to remind you. We're going to have like a success dialogue. We're going to have an error dialogue. And we're going to have an are you sure dialogue that when you click yes, it executes an action this action is, in this case is just going to be showing a toast. If you click cancel, it does does nothing. It just shows kind of canceled. So those are the, the use cases that we are going to be working on. But if you want to know more about the material dialogues library at the end of this video, and maybe I haven't shown you enough, just let me know in the comments below. You know, maybe you want to see examples uh, accepting input, doing, you know, check boxes, uh, building a custom dialogue, so building a custom layout using material dialogues. I can show you all of those things. I just want to know if people are actually interested. So let me know in the comments below and make sure to leave a like on this video. So uh, let's let's move on. So what are we doing here? The first step is getting the dependencies. So there's a couple of dependencies here. There's kind of the core dependency, which is the one we're going to be using. If you want to see tutorial and code samples, you can click here. And again, this is a great library. He's got great examples. Everything is broken down really beautifully. Got some nice pictures. Uh, next is kind of accepting input. So there's he has a, a, an example of accepting input and uh, either clicking disagree or agree. So you would get a different dependency for that one. Uh, files, different dependency, color, different dependency, date, time, bottom sheets. So those are the sheets that slide up from the bottom. So it's kind of like a dialogue. It's not really a dialogue, but it's a, it's a bottom sheet that slides up. We have uh, also lifecycle stuff. So what we're going to be doing is grabbing the core dependency. So that's going to be the top, the top one right here. So the copying that and then going to Android Studio. So copy that. I'm going to open Android Studio. And I've already added these ahead of time. Oh, no, I didn't add them ahead of time. So I'm going to have to add those. Uh, so let's go back to... GitHub, I have my build.gradle file open for the for the project. Uh, I'm just going to copy this from the source code for this project. You can find that. Again, there'll be a link in the description. And I'm going to paste that in and click sync. So we're using version 3.1.0 and I'm using the core dependency as I said right there and then just passing that version in. So that's all we need to do to get started using material dialogues. Now let's go into main activity and set up a couple uh, examples. So as you saw from the, the demo, I actually have a couple extra buttons here. I have a success toast and an error toast. So something went wrong is the error and then the success is you successfully did that thing. So we're going to build a couple of functions for showing those toast messages first, and then we're going to work on the dialogues. So function, this will be display toast. It'll take a string message as input that can be nullable. I probably shouldn't make that nullable, but uh, I'm going to make a continuation video after this one where the use case can be null. So I'll just add the question mark now. Uh, so this for the context, I want to pass the message and I want to do toast.length short for the length of time that we're going to show that toast message. Uh, next is we're going to start working on the dialogues now. So there's that toast. Now we're going to do function display success dialogue. Now this is the, this is going to be the material dialogue stuff. So we're working on the material dialogues. So to use a material dialogue, the most basic kind of way to do it is to call material dialogue, pass the context which is the, the window context, write.show, and then you get access to this nice little Lambda function here. Now inside of here, I can apply properties to the dialog. So like for example, I can apply a title and do r.string.text success. Remember this is a successful dialog. We're calling a function named dis display success dialog. So the title here is gonna be text success which you can find in the strings.xml file. Now I don't need to do like a dot or anything like that uh, because this is not a builder. It, you have properties here that you can apply inside of this Lambda function. So title is the first one. Message can be the second one that we're gonna apply. In this case, I just wanna do text equals message, which is the message that we're passing as input. And now I wanna add a positive button to it and do r.string.text okay. So this is the text that's gonna show on the positive button. I'll just bring the demo over here to show you. So if I click success dialog, we have success, which is the title, which is this, this, this text right here. We have you successfully did that thing, which is the message. And then we have the positive button, which is okay, which is this right here. Now we could also do a negative button if we wanted to. So I could write negative button and do the same thing. But in this case, we're just gonna have a positive button. Next, we will build the error one. So if we click on the error dialog right here. It's mostly the same, just 
just different kind of text. It has a different title, it has a different message, and the uh, positive button is the same. So let's, let's, let's build that one. So coming on down, I'm actually going to copy this function because it's going to be mostly the same. This will be display error dialog. It'll have a message, it'll have a title. The title this time is going to be text error. The message is still the same, and then the positive button is text OK. So that's going to be our error dialog. Now next we want to work on the this kind of weird one here for, for asking the, the user if they're sure they want to do something. So you click on it, it says, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do that? This can't be undone. So the title here is, are you sure? The message is, are you sure you want to do that? This can't be undone. And then either yes or cancel. And then depending on what they click, different actions will be executed. So if they click yes, it says you successfully did that thing. If you click cancel, it says canceled. So those are the, the what, what this is going to look like. Now, in order to take action after the user clicks either OK or cancel, we need a callback function. So that's what we're going to build first. We're going to build an interface named are you sure callback. And inside here, there's going to be two functions. First one is going to be proceed. So that's like, uh, yes, I'm sure. Go ahead and proceed with the transaction. And then the other one is going to be canceled, which is obviously going to, to cancel that transaction. So now, what is this function going to look like? It'll be function are you sure dialog. It'll take a message, a nullable message as input, actually non nullable message as input. Uh, let's do callback equals are you sure callback. And now we want to do the same kind of thing material dialog, this for the context. Then when we write dot show, apply the same kind of uh, same kind of properties that we did before. Of course, these are going to be different because this is going to be r dot string dot are you sure. The message will again be text text equals message. Now I want to do the negative button. So negative button. Uh, now we need to do something a little different here. So we need a message just like we did before. So string dot text cancel. But we want to open this up because we want to execute some action if they click that cancel button. So in this case, I want to do callback dot cancel. And then the same thing kind of with the positive button. So positive button r.string.text yes. So yes, I'm sure I want to do something. And in that case, I want to do callback.proceed. So now when we when we actually call this function, the are you sure dialog, we have to define a callback. So that's going to determine what happens when they either click cancel or when they click proceed and pass it to the material dialog. So now let's uh, let's scroll up. These are our functions that we're going to be using. And let's build a one more function, private function setup demo and inside here I'll attach on click listeners to all of the buttons in our UI. So we have success toast is the first one set on click listener. Uh, now I'm going to get the next one which is going to be the error toast set on click listener. These are all going to be very similar. Then we have the success dialog set on click listener. Continuing on down we have error dialog set on click listener. And then the uh, should be the last one. It should be are you sure set on click listener and open that up. So those are our five buttons that exist inside of the layout. So I'm going to call setup demo in uh, inside of on create. And now we can write these these use cases. So the first one will be display toast. And I just want to say, you know, you successfully did that thing, whatever that thing is, you did it. Next, we'll do display toast again. This one will be uh, something went wrong because that's an error, dot, dot, dot. Now, success dialog. I want to do display success dialog. I'll say, again, you successfully did that thing. Uh, then the error dialog, display error dialog. I can say something went wrong, dot, dot, dot. And now comes the tricky one, which is the are you sure callback. So remember, this one takes two parameters. We need a message and we need an are you sure callback. So we need to define that are you sure callback. So I'll say are you sure callback equals new object. Are you sure callback? Open that up. I'm going to press control O, get those two override methods, which is proceed and cancel. And now I can define what I want to happen uh, if they click proceed or if they click cancel. So if they click proceed, I just want to show a successful toast. So I can say, you know, display toast. And I can say you successfully, successfully did that thing just like we've been doing before. And then in the case where they cancel it, I can do display toast again and just say, you know, canceled. Boom. 
Now I want to go down below the, where we define the callback and I want to call our are you sure callback or is it are you sure dialog function that we have here. So the message is going to be are you sure you want to do that. This can't be undone. And then the second parameter is going to be our are you sure callback. So just passing that in there. So that should take care of everything. Now I'm going to run it and we can take a look and see if it's showing the correct behavior. Okay, so I'll minimize this to give us some more room and I'll bring this over on the screen so we can kind of see everything. So here are the functions on the left and then here we have the buttons. So if I click the success toast, I get you successfully did that thing. So that's this function right here. Next we have the error toast, it says something went wrong, which is the same function, just different message. Now the success dialog, we have success as the title, you successfully did that thing, click OK, goes away. Error dialog says error, something went wrong, click OK, goes away. And then are you sure, it says are you sure you want to do that, this can't be undone. If I click yes, I get the successful message, which is our callback, our proceed callback being called right here. Uh, if I clicked cancel, it says canceled which is the cancel function being called on the callback. So that's it. That is the end of the demo. Hopefully this helped you. I know a lot of these use cases you would use in you know pretty much all of your projects. So obviously this was a very simple use case. As I said from the start of this video, it was meant to just give you kind of a bare bones introduction to material dialogues. But again, if you want to see more, if you want to see me show other examples, you know, like some of the other examples that he has on the GitHub page, like the, you know, capturing an input, using files or accessing files, using colors, date time, bottom sheets, all that stuff. I'm more than willing to do that. And also doing custom layouts. So how to build custom layouts using material dialogues. So just let me know in the comments below, leave a like, leave a comment, all that stuff if you wanna see more of this. And also as a side note, in my, my newest course, the Powerful Android Apps with Jetpack Architecture course at codingwithmitch.com, I have tons of much, much more real, much more practical examples of how to use material dialogues because I actually access, whoops, I actually access, you know, the network from the app. I access a database cache that we build in the application, uh, lots of different, different database transactions. So of course we're going to be ne needing to show different errors, uh, different success messages and, you know, updating the UI accordingly, depending on the different situations that are happening. So I highly encourage you to check that course out. It's a really great one. I've gotten a really, a lot of really good feedback from it so far. We have Kotlin MVI architecture. That means live data and view models, navigation components, the room persistence library, coroutines, retrofit 2, dagger 2, a REST API integration of a server that I built for you guys to use. I also show you how to do that in a different course, but that's something else completely. Uh, just like tons, tons, tons of content. I highly encourage you to check that out. If nothing else, go to the course page and watch the course demo just to see if you're interested at all. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.